also I want to add that if I seem like I'm really determined to to expose this company it's because I feel so harassed by this woman who owns this company if you saw the amount of paperwork and the amount of letters that come through my door she's been printing out my website I said to the last judge look at the amount of paperwork on her desk that she's printed out and this is just this court case every time she pays to take the courts to take the matter back to court I have to spend my time I have to type out the evidence I have to print pictures I have to spend my money and my time going to court travel fair this that and the other and it's my time and it's my energy that I've had to take out of, for 36 pounds and I'm like Christine it's 36 pounds I feel so harassed I had to take my children out of school I had to take my children to court again the judge was rude to my daughter he looked at the paperwork and he thought, what is this? The amount of paperwork that was on his desk, he was so angry that he was just rude. And I don't want to deter anybody from going to court. I just think he was so annoyed at the, the, the amount of paperwork for such a small claim that I just think he was like, I've got better things to deal with than 36 pounds. He was, this judge was just livid. He was furious. It's been through, it's been through about five different judges and the court has stayed it the appeal they've, she's paid to take it back basically she spent 750 pounds in this court claim trying to claim 36 pound 50 and she's tried to move this court date she it hasn't worked so she's had to pay more money to take it back to court and it's going to keep back going back to court going back to court and every time i'm having to spend my time and my energy going to court and i, I, I i'm fed up i'm just fed up now I come to find out they've been taking the, the review, negative reviews off of Trustpilot. And this, these things are wrong. They should be like, you go on Trustpilot because you think, you know what, I want an honest review of an item that I want to buy. You don't expect that Trustpilot is taking down the negative reviews because people are paying them. I said to my friend, this, this is what Trustpilot do. She said, no, they can't take down the negative reviews. It's Trustpilot. I said, yeah, they are. When I showed her my phone and the evidence, she was like, what? She couldn't believe it. Trustpilot, you know, of all the names. Trust pilot, imagine. Had they been, been called review site or something, but trust pilot? Hey. Anyway, I just want to. Oh, there's a moth in here. Yeah, I just want to. Somebody's having a party. <laughs> Getting distracted. Yeah, I just want to expose this company. Don't buy from lovesofas.co.uk. The sofas last a year, um, they've got a one year warranty on them. The manager will say your one year warranty run out so we can't do anything however your consumer rights say that you can still take them to court even if up to six years if the product is faulty go to google your consumer rights go to the direct gov websites take them to consumer direct the more people that contact consumer direct the better whether you take them to court or you don't still contact consumer direct so that there's a log on this company say they're in Huddersfield this is what they've done this is my sofa this is my item the more people that complain is the more likely that the government will do something about this company <coughs> sorry everybody I've got a bit of a cough at the moment but I'm just like oh I was at Notting Hill Carnival today I was there with my tutus it was really good today met some lovely people and yeah just have a look at my other videos this is a youtube account just for videos about love sofas have a look at my other videos and yeah i'm just going to post more videos and let you know how you can take them to court etc yeah check out my other videos and have a nice day don't buy from love sofas save yourself the hassle and don't go through what i've gone through and i don't want to deter anybody from taking them to court because as i said the original court case i walked into the room and the judge said you've won your money back I d he didn't i didn't even sit down he saw the sofa and he was like you've won your claim so yeah take them to court add your costs costs are basically if you had to take a train to go to court if you had to buy a sofa throw if you've had because you have to pay 70 pound or something to take them to court for that um, to take them to court you claim that back the judge will give you your money back if you had to take a day off of work the judge will give you back that money any cost you've incurred in this court case tell the judge he will award you your money against love sofas they'll have to reimburse you they'll have to give you a refund for your sofa as well and yeah 
have a look at my other YouTube videos, don't buy from Love Sofas, and have a nice day. Buy from DFS or Argos or something, and don't buy. They're on eBay and on Amazon, so be careful. As you can see in my other videos, what their logo is, and they claim to sell 30,000 sofas a year like this to people, and I just think it's appalling that they've been able to get away with it. If somebody doesn't take a stand, they're still going to be able to do it to innocent people, so I'm going to be one of the people to take a stand, so follow whatever, I don't know how to... Just take them to consumer direct people and just don't buy from them. Have a nice day. Thank you.